Hi, I'm Susan Jarvey. I'm a yoga teacher here at Mesa Community College, and I am here with Dr. Chris Bliss, recently anointed doctor. <laughs> We're gonna be doing a short yoga practice today, and we hope that you'll join along. As you join in, please make sure that you honor your body and um, just make sure that you're feeling comfortable with the poses. Um, any dull and achy sensations are generally okay. But if there's something that's sharp and pinpointing, then please don't do that. So listen to your body and do what feels good for you. And of course, follow your doctor's advice um, in terms of practicing yoga. So we're gonna take a comfortable seat to start. So we'll sit cross-legged if you can. If it's uncomfortable for you to sit cross-legged, then feel free to stretch your legs out or even sit in a chair. Once you come to your seat, let your hands rest lightly on your legs. Elbows rest right below the shoulders, and we'll begin with closing our eyes. If you're uncomfortable with closing eyes, you can always look down three or four feet in front of you and widen your gaze. As we close our eyes, we're able to close out the world around us, allowing our attention to move inside our bodies so that we can be mindful as we practice this next 20 minutes. Take this time to scan your body from the tips of your toes up to the top of your head. And as you're scanning, please notice any places that feel tight or sore or uncomfortable. Notice anywhere you have tension. And we take this inventory of our body before we begin our practice. And then we'll do something similar to this at the end, and you'll be able to compare how you feel before and how you feel after your practice. And that helps us to really understand how yoga can help our bodies feel so much better. Notice your feet and your legs and let them soften into the surface where you're seated. Allow your hips to get heavy. Notice what you're sitting on. Is that surface hard or soft? Relax. Soften your shoulders, let them slide down away from your ears. And notice what your hands are resting on. What is the temperature of what you're resting on? Is it warm or cold? What is the texture under your hands? Relax. Work your way up into the shoulders again. One more time, relax the shoulders. And please lift the crown of your head up toward the ceiling so that you can create lots of space in your spine. Please move your attention to your breath now and start to notice what you feel as you breathe. What are the sensations you feel? Maybe your belly and chest expand on the inhales and Contract on the exhales. Watch the breath and let it slow down and smooth out all by itself. As we slow the breath, we know that our thoughts begin to slow as well. We bring a little more space between breaths more space between thoughts. And that gives us that calm energy that we're all uh, seeking. Just two more breaths, breathing in, belly expanding, and breathing out. When you're ready, please open your eyes. Welcome back. So we're just gonna do some gentle stretching to start. So we'll take the arms next to our sides. Inhale, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, let's take the right arm in front and the left arm behind. And we're gonna do just a gentle twist. And then inhale, reach up again. 
and release, other side. And we'll keep going. So in yoga, we inhale to lift away from the floor and we exhale to lower to the floor or fold. That's the general rule. Doesn't always work that way, but generally. Just go a couple more times, breathing in, lifting the arms, feeling what it's like in the shoulder joints as you warm them up. Inhale, reach up, and let's take the arms down to the sides. Good, and then another um, little side stretch. So we're gonna take the, um, your hand, <laughs> left hand, when I'm mirroring the camera, it's there, right? So we'll take our arm to the side, inhale, reach the opposite arm up, and as you exhale, slide the hand that's on the floor away from you, bend your elbow towards the floor, and reach over. Let the palm of your hand face the floor. See if you can line up your um, ears with your biceps. And we'll keep pressing the opposite hip into the earth. Nice deep stretch. Breathing in, expanding. Inhale, reach up. And release as you exhale. Second side, breathing in. And we reach over as we exhale. Holding the posture, but not holding the breath. Inhale, reaching up and release. Take your hands to your legs. Close your eyes for just a couple breaths and notice what you already feel changing in your body. Maybe you have more energy. Maybe your heart is beating faster. Maybe your breath rate has changed. Feel the space in your sides. Go ahead and open your eyes. And we'll come onto our hands and knees into a tabletop position. And so when we come into tabletop, our hands are right below the shoulders. And we spread the fingers nice and wide. Fingerprints and knuckles all press into the mat or the earth. And we hug our hands isometrically toward each other. Knees hip distance and just right under the hips and about four inches. So hip distance is about four inches apart. On your inhale, lift the back of your neck, shoulders wide. Exhale, draw the belly in and round your spine towards the ceiling, letting the crown of your head come towards the floor, chin towards the chest. Inhale, soften the spine. Collarbones are wide, shoulders back. We look forward three or four feet. Exhale, round into cat stretch. Inhale for cow. And exhale again, cat stretch. Let's do two more rounds, breathing in. On this exhale, let's go ahead and move to child's pose. So we'll take the seat towards the heels as far as you can comfortably go for your knee health. Arms are straight. On your inhale, we're gonna come right back up so we're moving dynamically. Coming to tabletop, look forward for cow, and move back to child's pose again. This gives us a chance to warm up the knees and the hips and begin stretching into our lower back. Inhale to come up. And exhale, moving back. One more time, we come up. And exhale back, and we'll pause here. And go ahead and bend the elbows, let your forehead come towards the floor. Seat is on the heels or close to the heels. As you breathe in, your belly expands into or between the thighs. And as you breathe out, Everything softens and gets heavier. If your head is levitating off the floor here, please feel free to stack your fists or your forearms and rest your head there. Beautiful, and then please go ahead and walk your hands forward again. We reach towards the top of the mat as far as we can reach. Lift the underarms away from the floor. Inhale, come up to tabletop. Curl your toes under and lift your knees off the floor. We're going to downward facing dog. And we'll hold 
Try not to pedal the legs out just yet. We'll just stay here for a couple of breaths and notice what this feels like. Fingerprints, knuckles are pressing into the earth. Belly draws up and in. And our ears are lining up with the biceps. Go ahead and bend your right knee, letting the left heel sink towards the floor. Take a breath. And then switch. Left knee bends, right heel sinks. And then walk it out. Back and forth a few times as you stretch into the back of your legs. Good, and then both heels press back and down and we hold downward facing dog. Just a couple more breaths. Feeling the strength in your arms, your upper body and the flexibility in your legs. If you find that your back is rounding towards the ceiling like this, then bend your knees and let your spine find some length. When you're ready, take a look at the top of your mat and we'll take a walk to the front. So walking or stepping, whatever it takes to get your feet up to the top of the mat. Let your feet rest hip distance and please bend your knees. So we bend the knees so we have spank, um, length in our spine. Let's go ahead and hold the elbows, letting the forearms and the elbows drop towards the floor. Tuck your chin in towards your chest, back of the neck long, and then gentle swaying back and forth. Just a little bit of movement to release and unravel the spine. And come back to center. Please release the arms, circle them behind you. Weave the fingers together so our palms face each other. We weave the fingers together and then bend your elbows as you slide your hands up your back just a little bit. Now we can take the elbows and point them towards the ceiling or the sky, squeezing them toward each other across your back. That puts us in proper alignment now to lift the arms up towards the sky. Straightening into the arms, lifting the shoulders. We open the chest and the front of the shoulders here. Take a few breaths. Exhale, let your hands come down. And we take our hands wherever we can reach, either to the floor in front of the toes or to your shins. On your inhale, we're gonna come up just a few inches, maybe three, um, a third of the way or halfway, long spine. As you exhale, fold in, get a little closer to your legs. And let's do that again. Breathe in, long spine. Exhale, so we breathe out and we fold in. And one more time, breathing in and release, letting go as you fold into yourself. Give your knees a nice bend. Inhale, the arms go to the side and we come all the way up, reaching high, hands come together overhead. Exhale your hands home to your heart. Good, and then we'll come into Tadasana and we'll face the camera. <laughs> And so we come into our mountain pose, Tadasana. Let your feet rest about four inches apart and all the toe tips point towards the edge of the mat. Legs nice and strong. Relax your shoulders, lift the crown of your head high. And then you wanna turn the um, arms so the elbow creases face forward. And this gets the shoulder blades in proper alignment on your back for your, your wonderful posture. We're gonna move into a balancing pose now. We're moving into tree pose. And the secrets really for tree pose are a couple of things. Looking on the floor three or four feet in front of you at something that's not moving is going to help you with your balance. We also want to keep our body firm. So we low, lower belly firms up. The legs get nice and firm. Take a few breaths. Let your heels get heavy. And when you're ready, take all of your weight over to one foot and bend into the opposite leg, the knee, and we'll turn that knee out to the side. Let your heel rest at your ankle with your toes on the floor. This is one variation of tree pose. Hands can come to our heart. If you press your hands together, you'll find your shoulders soften. If you'd like to go a little deeper into the pose and find a different variation, 
Good, go ahead and slide your foot up your leg to your calf muscle. Just make sure all the toe tips point down towards the floor. And if you've got that and you want to go a little deeper, maybe reach down and lift your ankle so that your foot comes onto your inner thigh. Hands hug together. And then maybe lift your arms. And take a few breaths. Exhale and release. <laughs> As you come down, let your feet come down to the floor into your mountain pose again. Close your eyes for just a moment. Notice how you feel different from side to side. Our tree pose is a balancing pose. It is also a hip opener, so you might find that your hips feel a little different. Open your eyes to a new moment and a different side. We find our sides to be very different, so we take our time as we move into the second side. All of the weight moves to the opposite foot. Firm the leg, keep your hip tucked in, low belly draws in, and we lift our foot onto our leg at whichever variation you want to try. Maybe lift your arms overhead to give yourself a little challenge. And when you feel complete, exhale, both hands come down, and we bring our foot back to the floor and arms next to the sides. Close your eyes again and scan from the tips of the toes to the top of your head, noticing how you feel. Good, floating the eyes open, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Let's go ahead and take the hands behind the back again. Weave the fingers together and stretch the arms up towards the sky, noticing how it feels different this time than it did the first time. And release. And we're gonna step back to downward facing dog. And both hands on the floor. Walk your feet back. Fingers are wide. Arms hugging toward each other, belly draws up and in. Heels are reaching back and down. And again, remember, if you feel like your back is rounded or your um, hamstrings are super tight, bend your knees and press back so your spine finds length. Please exhale, let's take the knees to the floor and we'll sit back in child's pose again. Bend the elbows, let your forehead come to the floor. If you'd like classic child's pose, you can take your arms behind you. Palms face up, forehead comes down, and we breathe. Please place your hands under your shoulders and slowly roll your way up. and then find your way onto your back. So as you roll your way down, either way, keep your knees bent with your feet on the floor. That helps to protect your back as you roll your way down onto your mat. Use your belly as you roll, and then let your hands rest on the floor, arms next to your body, palms face down. Take a few breaths as you give your body a chance to adjust to this new position. Please bring your knees into your chest, hug the knees down, and rock a little side to side. Come back to center. We're gonna take a hand to each knee and move the knees away from the body, open the knees wide, and come back to center. Just a couple of times as we open the hip muscles, Stretching into those muscles that support us. Reverse the circles. And we come back to center. Hug the knees in. 
And then when you're ready, we're gonna roll to a side. As we roll to our side, we'll take one arm overhead so we can roll over to a fetal position. Let your head rest on your arm. Tuck your knees close to your chest. Take another breath. And then find your way up to a seated position. And we're back where we began. We'll sit cross-legged. Let our hands rest on our legs. And please close your eyes. With your eyes closed, scan your body and notice how you feel. And remember how you felt just a few minutes ago. Notice what changed, what feels different. Where you had tension, maybe it's not there. If you don't notice anything at all, that's okay. The more you practice, the more you begin to notice how yoga can bring more space into your body, more space between breaths, and more space between thoughts. Please join your hands together in Anjali Mudra. So as our hands come together in, um, as if in prayer, there's a little space between the palms of the hands. I like to think of that space as a nice place to hold my gratitude. So the hands come together. Think of something that you're grateful for in this moment and hold it right between your hands. And then we'll take a nice deep breath. Breathe in. A long exhale through the nose, releasing and letting go of any tension or stress you're still holding. Thank you for joining me today. Again, my name is Susan Jarvie. In gratitude, have a great day.